Hey, welcome back. I say I'm going to be doing a perfume collection video. Now, it's been a few years since I've done a perfume video. I used to do unboxings and collection videos all the time. Um, but like I said, it's been a few years since I've done that. But my friend Julie and Barb both asked me to do an updated collection video, so I thought I would go ahead. Now, I am rubbish at describing scents, so I'm not going to try to do that. I'm just going to tell you what the perfume is, if I like it, if I would repurchase it. Um, in the past, the last video I did, I want to say it's probably been like three years, maybe two or three years at least. Um, in my last collection video, I did put on the screen all the notes for all the perfumes. So if you want to rewatch that video for the perfumes that I had back then, um, you'll be able to see what all the notes are. But otherwise, I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and get started. So first one I have is um, Burberry Brit. Really like this one. I get almost all of my perfumes from Fragrance Net, which is where I got this one. This was one of the first perfumes that I got from Fragrance Net when I started getting into perfumes maybe like 10 years ago. And I really like this one. This one has pear notes in it and it's really crisp and fresh. And I really enjoy this one and I would repurchase this. Okay, one of my very favorite perfumes. This one is Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. My son picked this one out for me. A few years ago, I did a video where each of my kids picked out two perfumes on Fragrance Net for me, and then my husband picked one, and it was a surprise for me, a secret. And then I did an unboxing, and this is one of the ones that my son picked out, and I love it. It's one of my favorite perfumes. It's got almond notes in it, which I've learned now that any perfume that has almond, I'm almost certainly going to like. It's one of my favorite notes and absolutely love this one and I don't think I would have picked it out for myself and I'm so glad that my son did because it's one of my top favorites. If I were to lose all of my perfume, this is one of the first ones that I would buy. Okay, then we have Lolita Len Lempica. This one is so pretty, it's very unique. This one has licorice notes in it. Um, I forget what the note is that makes it smell like licorice. Is it like amber or like, I forget. But I really like this one, it's unique. Um, it smells good. If you don't like licorice, you wouldn't like this one, but I really like it and it's unique. And I would repurchase that one. Actually, this is a repurchase. Um, I originally had it in a little small sample size and then I ended up buying the full size. Okay, then we have another one of my hard favorites. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This one is oh so intense. I've only had this for maybe like a year and I've already used this much. This one is so, so good. Oh, I love this one. Um, it's the oh so intense version. Absolutely love this. I would definitely repurchase this one. This one I would say is kind of more like a not necessarily like it doesn't have to be for fall, but I would think that this is more of like a, a rich fall winter scent. Okay, then we have one that I got from TJ Maxx. This is Neon Beach Eau de Parfum. This one, I tried looking this up to find out what the notes were, and the only thing I could find was pictures of this being sold on eBay, but nothing ever listed what the notes were. I feel like it's maybe like, grapefruit and coconut possibly. It smells really good. It does not last at all on the skin, so I tend to just wear this one in the evenings around the house when I want to smell nice. Okay, then we have Gucci Bamboo. This one I've had for a very long time. This is one of the first ones that I bought on Fragrance Net when I started getting into perfumes. I'm neutral to this one. I don't love it. I don't dislike it. I'll keep it, but I would not repurchase it. Yeah, it's just one that it's there. All right, one of my top favorites that I would definitely repurchase first. This one is Black Opium Nuit Blanche by YSL. I love this one. This one is the one that they say smells like coffee and vanilla. Oh, I love it. This smells so, so good. Um, there's a couple of the Black Opium versions. The Nuit Blanche is the one that I love. One of the first ones that I would repurchase for sure. Okay, then we have So Scandal by, I forget who this is by. It's like Marc Gossier or, or is it just Gossier? Something like that. I really, really like this one. I started off with a sample that my friend Julie sent me 
and I tried to get it on fragrance net because I loved it so much it wasn't on fragrance net um, then Julie ended up sending me another sample to tide me over and then after maybe two years this finally became available on fragrance net and I love it it's so cute it smells good I don't think it's one of like the very first ones that I would run back out and repurchase but I would definitely repurchase this assuming like I lost all my perfumes I would repurchase this at some point really really like that one okay then we have one that's relatively new to me I just bought this last year this one is Versace Eros Pour Femme I like this one um, I'm neutral like I like it it's not one that I would repurchase I don't think at the moment I haven't really gotten enough use out of it to know if it's a hard favorite like if it's a favorite um, but for now I really like it I'm glad to have it and I'll continue to use it and who knows in the future it could become a favorite okay then we have what is this one I feel like it's Linterdent something yes Linterdent by Givenchy I like this one the packaging is pretty it smells really good it's unique um, I can't quite describe it but it's very interesting and unique it's not too heavy this is one that I would repurchase it's not one of the very first ones that I would repurchase like it's not my top five but I would definitely repurchase this one okay then we have Lancome I have no idea what this one is called um, I can never read the bottom and it doesn't say anywhere I feel like it's maybe like idol Lancome idol is that a perfume I don't know um, I like the packaging I like the perfume it's not one that I would repurchase but I am glad to have it now okay then we have amethyst lalique lalique this one is very unique this one smells almost like kind of grassy but I don't I don't know what the notes are in this um, I feel like I've looked it up before but I don't remember I like this one it's interesting it's unique I enjoy it I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it but I do like it and I like to layer this one okay then we have two nest perfumes first one is indigo I absolutely love this one I got this one because of my friend Julie she said this is one of her very favorites she's repurchased repurchased it many times over the years she says her husband loves it when she wears it um, I went to Sephora I smelled it this a few years ago absolutely love it one of the most unique perfumes that I have so beautiful um, fragrance net did not have it they don't have nest perfumes I don't know if they carry nest perfumes now but at the time they did not carry nest perfumes um, but I really want this perfume so I actually ended up getting this from from nest website because I was able to get a like first time purchase discount it's only 10% but 10% is cheaper than paying full price at Sephora and then I ended up also getting wild poppy I like these both they smell so good this one I absolutely love however these do not last on my skin at all they just disappear within almost minutes so these are ones that unfortunately I would not I would not repurchase and I would not buy nest fragrances in the future but I really love them well I really love this one this one I like um, but you know I'm just I love this one it's just it doesn't last on my skin so unfortunately I would not repurchase either of those okay then we have fresh couture fresh couture by Moschino this is an eau de toilette does not last on the skin at all it's so cute um, this is definitely a novelty purchase I was very disappointed when I learned that this isn't a functioning sprayer like that would have been so cute um, very crisp fresh I like it this is one like I said it's an eau de toilette so it does not last on the skin at all this is one that I just quickly spray if I'm running errands and I'm not gonna be out for too long <clears throat> or just around the house I don't need it to last forever on my skin um, I would not repurchase it but it's super cute and if I do ever actually go through this I will refurbish the bottle somehow because it's just so cute okay another one that I was on the fence getting I've been trying over the last few years to find a really good vanilla perfume and they all just end up smelling really fake and synthetic to me but this one had really good views this is vanilla fields I do not love this um, I want to say I bought this like maybe early this year I feel like I it's I've definitely had it for less than a year um, it's okay um, it does smell vanilla but it also still smells like very synthetic I like to layer this one so I will keep this one but I wouldn't repurchase it 
Okay, then we have Amo Ferragamo. I really like this one. This one I got, um, I saw some reviews on a couple perfume videos. And I really like this one. Um, I can't describe it, but I enjoy it. Um, it's not one that I would purchase immediately if I lost all my perfume, but it is one that I would eventually repurchase because I would like to keep this in my collection. I really enjoy it. Okay, this is one that has been hyped up for many, many years. Um, this is C by Giorgio Armani, and I just don't understand the hype. Um, it's fine. There's nothing special about it. It's a little bit strong for my liking, but at the same time, it doesn't last on the skin. Um, I don't know. I don't understand the hype. I'm not going to get rid of it, but I would not repurchase this. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, then we have Pure Poison Dior. This is one of the first ones that I bought um, when I started getting back into perfumes maybe like 10 years ago. Um, I really like this one. This one is a very grown up, mature perfume. This one I would say is more of an occasion perfume. Back when I didn't have as much perfume, this was definitely in my top five. I still really like it. I wouldn't necessarily say it's in my top five anymore, but I still really like it. I would repurchase this one, but it wouldn't be one of the very first ones that I repurchase. But I do really enjoy having that one and I feel grown up when I wear it. Okay, then we have Daisy Dream Mark by Marc Jacobs. This is Daisy Dream Twinkle. I like this one. This is one that I like, I don't love. This was actually one of the first ones that I bought 10-ish um, years ago when I started getting back into perfume. Um, this was before I knew about the website FragranceNet. And so I bought this full price from Sephora. Um, definitely not worth the money for full price. Um, I wish I had known about FragranceNet at the time, but I like this one, I don't love it, I would not repurchase it, it is pretty, um, I've gotten some good use out of it. I could see myself maybe decluttering this one in the future. Okay, then we have one um, called Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. I've had this one, I think I bought this either last year or the year before, I've only had it one or two years. I really like this one. This one smells like mint, it's really, interesting and unique. I don't have anything quite like it. I like the packaging. I would repurchase this one. Really like that one. Okay, another one of my very first perfumes. I bought this one for full price at Sephora before I knew about Fragrance Net. This is Michael Kors Wonderlust. Another one that used to be in my top favorite, like my top five, um, like Dior, Poison, and Wonderlust. They were my top five. Um, I still really like it. Um, this one is definitely more of a like an occasion perfume, I would say, like for a special event or like a date night. I like it. Um, I no longer love it as much as I used to. It's not one that I would rush out to repurchase. Um, in fact, I don't even know if I would actually repurchase this or not. Um, but I am glad to have it um, and I'll continue to get use out of it. I just don't reach for it as much as I used to. Okay, one of my favorite perfumes, I love this one. This one is BCBG. Max Adria by Bone Chic. I love this one. Um, <coughs> this is one that my younger son, is this one that he picked out for me in that video? Or is this just one? I think this is one that he picked out for me. He either picked this out for me in that video or he just told me when I was buying, when I was uh, making a purchase one time that I should get this one. I love this. I would never have bought this for myself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the second one that he picked for me because it had like a really interesting, um, well, kind of cheap looking, but it had a really big flower looking top and I take it off because it's cheap looking and it takes up a lot of space and like all the other perfumes bump into it. And then this one also had has flowers on it and I think he picked them both because they had flowers. Um, but anyways, I love this perfume. It smells so good. I don't remember what the notes are, but it's definitely fruity and I love it and I would repurchase that one. It would be one of the first ones that I repurchase. Okay, then we have Fancy by Jessica Simpson, one of my very favorites, one of the first ones that I would repurchase. This one has caramel notes in it and I just love it. One of the first ones, like I said, that I would repurchase. Okay, then we have Gucci Flora. 
This is one that I've never felt strongly about one way or another. I don't love it, I don't dislike it. It's just one that I occasionally reach for. It doesn't necessarily last on my skin. It's not one that I notice like, oh, this smells nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. Okay, another one of my favorites that actually took me a long time to even buy. This is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I held off on buying this because I thought they were kind of childish. I thought the Juicy Coutures were childish and that they were geared towards teenagers, but this had such good reviews and I finally decided to buy it and I love it. It's one of my favorites. I forget the notes. I wanna say this is maybe another caramel one. I don't remember, but I just, I love this and I would definitely repurchase this and I'm glad that I finally took a chance and I bought it. Okay, then we have Clinique Happy. This is another one that I bought, one of the first ones that I bought at Sephora before I knew about Fragrance Net. I bought this because everyone has talked about Clinique Happy for many, many years. Everyone loves it. I do like it, it smells really good. However, it just does not last on my skin at all. It's one that I tend to just wear in the evenings around the house. But I have so many other perfumes that I love more um, and that actually last on my skin. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. I feel bad saying that because, I don't know, it's such a well-known and loved perfume, but I just, I don't know, I'm gonna declutter that one. Okay, another one that's kind of hyped up. This is Versace Bright Crystal. Um, I like it, I don't love it. I'll keep it because I have it. It's not one that I would repurchase. It is kind of like a fancy perfume, so I'll keep it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, then we have one called Capitaine de Gris. This one is interesting. This one had a lot of really good reviews. Um, this one like, reminds me of a broccoli. This one feels very earthy to me. It smells almost grassy. I do like it. It's interesting, it's unique. I'm glad to have it. I like to layer this one, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it, but I do like it and I'm glad I have it. Okay, another one. This is Marc Jacobs Decadence, another one that I absolutely love the packaging. It's so beautiful. Um, I just don't love it. And I wanted to love it so much. I went to Sephora and I smelled, smelled this many times. I thought I really liked it. They have two versions of the, um, like the ones that come in these, like the purse packaging. Um, they had Decadence. And then this one is more of the spicy version. And then they had a sweeter, more florally version, or maybe it was fruity, I don't quite remember. I wish I had bought the other version instead of the spicy version. I do like spicy scents, but this one is just a little bit too much for me. I don't get a ton of use out of this one. I do love the packaging if I were to ever, um, I mean, I would never use this up, but I would keep this for the packaging because it is beautiful and I do keep this one on display in the front of my perfumes. So I like it, I'm gonna keep it, but I would not ever repurchase it. Okay, this one is Fiori Vince Camuto. I got this one from Fragrance Net, but I see this one at TJ Maxx all the time. This is one that I like, I don't love, it's just there. I use it occasionally, but I don't feel any special way about it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. Okay, another one that is hyped up so much and I just don't understand the hype. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This one is almost cloying to me, it's just, such a strong florally scent and I just don't love it. This is one that I try to layer. I'll do like just a soft spray and then I'll layer something over it just to get some use out of this. I would not repurchase it. It's not one that I want to get rid of just because it's such a popular and not coveted because they're easy to come by, but just one that everyone loves. So I feel like the collector in me wants to keep it, but it's not one that I strongly love. Okay, then I have two alt perfumes. These are um, dupe, dupe perfumes. Um, I have two other ones that I've already decluttered. Maybe a third one, I can't quite remember. Um, these are okay. Um, the packaging is really cheap. It looks cheap. Um, the, another one that I had started leaking. Um, reviews on these say that they do tend to leak a lot. This one is Truffle number five. I want to say this is a Tom Ford dupe. I don't remember what it's called. I do like this one. Um, 
I like to layer this one, so I'm gonna keep that one, but I would never repurchase any other alt perfumes. And then this one is Icon. This one has plum notes in it. This one is interesting and unique, or I should say unique. Um, I don't know about interesting, but it is unique. I don't know that I love it, so I think I'm gonna declutter that one. Okay, then we have La Fleur Bouquet by Afnan. I got this one, I saw um, a lot of reviews on it, and then when I looked it up on YouTube, this had really good reviews. I talked to my friend Julie about this one. Um, she doesn't have it, but she says she's also heard really good things about this one, and so I decided to get it. And I really like this one, you guys. This one smells really nice. Um, I can't describe it, but it's, it's floral. It's not overpowering. It's just a pretty scent. I would repurchase this one. I don't think it would be the first one that I rush out to repurchase, but I would definitely repurchase this one and I would like to keep it in my collection. Okay, then we have Jennifer Lopez. I want to say it's called Live. It says Live here, but I don't know if this is actually called Live. I do like this one. It's crisp. It's fresh. I enjoy it. It's not one that I would rush out to repurchase, but I do enjoy having it in my collection. I'm glad to have it. So I'll keep that one, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase. Okay, one of my absolutely favorite perfumes. I've already repurchased this one. This one is Alien by Terry Mugler. Initially, I bought just a little small, um, like the kind that had the little dabbers, and I fell in love with it. It's my favorite perfume. Alien is a scent that you're either going to love or you're going to hate. It's very unique. It's very interesting. I absolutely love this. Um, like I said, it's already repurchased. I already bought this. I had the small one and then I'm already down to here on this bottle. I love the packaging. I love the perfume. Uh, um, definitely one of the very first ones that I would repurchase. I've already repurchased this one and I will continue to repurchase it. And I just, I love it. Okay, then I have two by Guerlain. First one is La Petite Robe Noir. This one is very similar to Lolita. They both smell like licorice to me. I forget which one. One has more fruity notes and one has more floral notes. Like I said, I can't remember which one. They do have a very similar vibe though because they're, they have that licorice um, scent to them. Um, I really like it. I would repurchase it. I'm glad to have it. Yeah, I just really enjoy it. Okay, another one that I was excited to get is La Petite Robe Noir. The thing about Guerlain is all their perfumes sound exactly the same. Um, like they're all called La Petite Robe Noir, but then they have a different name as well. This one doesn't say anywhere on the packaging, but this one I believe is called Au Frenchy. Um, they have completely different notes to them, but when I got this one, it smells exactly like this. It's so disappointing because they should not smell the same. They have, like I said, they have different notes, but they smell exactly the same. I talked to my friend Julie and she said, unfortunately, all of the Guerlain perfumes smell exactly the same. So that's extremely disappointing. Um, yeah, this one smells <sighs> exactly the same. So I would not repurchase this one. I think the packaging is really cute, but I'm more partial to the packaging of this one. I think this one is just more streamlined. So if I had to repurchase one or the other, I would repurchase this one. And I'm honestly kind of miffed that they smell exactly the same. Okay, another one that is overly hyped up and I just don't understand the hype. This is La Viette Belle. I don't know what the brand is. No idea. Um, I just, I don't know. I like it. I don't dislike it. I like this one a lot more than I like the Flower Bomb. However, it's just too hyped up. I would not repurchase this one. I'll continue to get some use out of this one, but it's just not one of my favorites. All right, then we have Jimmy Choo Illicit Flower. I do like this one. I get some use out of this one. I feel grown up when I use this one. It's not one that I would necessarily repurchase, but I am glad to have it and I do get some use out of it. Okay, this is one that my husband bought me in that video that I told you about. This is Trezor Midnight Rose by Lancome. Um, I like this one. I've always said I don't like rose in general as a scent. Um, 
but this one has other notes that blend really nicely with this one so it's not cloying like rose to me has always been very cloying this one is not cloying to me i like it i would never have picked this for myself but i'm glad that my husband picked it i think he just picked it because it looked pretty and it sounded like it was fancy um, and i like it i'm happy to have it okay then we have bora bora i got this one because of Lindsay, lady in the truck she used to do a lot of perfume videos um, she said this one was nostalgic for her. She used to have it back in the day and she repurchased it. It was like a nostalgia purchase. And I like it. Um, I enjoy it. I like to layer this one. I'm glad to have it. It's not one that I would necessarily repurchase, but I do like it. Okay, then we have another Terry Mugler one. This one is Aura. Yeah, Aura by Terry Mugler. The packaging on this is beautiful. I like this one. I don't love it the way I love Alien. But I do like it. I'll continue to get some use out of it, but it's not one that I would repurchase. Okay, then one that I have repurchased. This one is J'adore. Okay, so when I was maybe 17, yeah, I think I was 17, 16 or 17, the It perfume to own when you were a 16, 17 year old girl was Tommy Girl. And so I went to the mall and you know those like little perfume kiosks? I bought Tommy Girl and then I also bought this one because the packaging looked pretty. Um, and it was a very grown-up perfume. Um, I did not appreciate this when I was younger. It was a little too mature for me. I had it for many, 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 many years though. I probably had it for like 15 years. And then I decluttered it. And then last year maybe, might've been the year before by now, um, I saw it on Fragrance Net and I was like, you know what? I wanna have that again. And I like it. Um, I, appreciated, I appreciate it a lot more now that I'm an adult. I'm glad to have it. I like it. Okay, a couple more before I get into my dossier dupes. Um, one of my very favorite perfumes, this is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. That's not just because it's by Taylor Swift, I just really love this perfume. Um, many, many years ago, whatever year this first came out, I don't know, maybe like 15 years by now, I have no idea, 13, 14 years, something like that. Um, before I was really into perfumes, I saw this at Sephora or Ulta and I really liked it. I bought the rollerball. I had the rollerball for so, so, so long. Um, several years ago, maybe like, well not several, maybe like, maybe like three or four years ago, that rollerball finally went rancid. I've never witnessed a perfume go rancid, but it went rancid. I got rid of it and then I repurchased this. So this is a repurchase. I repurchased it in the small size. I love this. I want to say the notes, like the top notes are raspberry. Really love this one. I would definitely repurchase this one again. Okay, then we have, what is this one called? Tempting Paradise by Sophia Vergara. Vergara? I like this one. Um, I've had this one for maybe two years now. It smells really pretty. It's crisp, it's clean. I would definitely repurchase this one. I don't think it would be like the first one I rush out to repurchase, but I would repurchase it and I like it. Okay, another one that I got because it's just a hyped up classic perfume that everyone talks about. This is Chloe. Um, honestly, I don't understand the hype. Um, I like it. I don't love it. I would not repurchase it. I'm not going to declutter it, but I would not repurchase it. Okay, then we have... A bunch of dossier perfumes it's another dupe brand these ones are much nicer than the alt ones um, the packaging is very simple um, but I really like the top I really like how it tells you what all the notes are on the bottom it does not tell you what it's duping on the bottom on the bottle so on the bottom I wrote what the dupe perfume is on all of them. One of them I've already decluttered. It was something lavender and it just gives me a terrible headache. The lavender is way too strong. That one I'm actually giving to my friend Barb. Okay, so this one is Floriental Brown Sugar. This one is duping YSL's Mon Perry. The, Florian, the lavender one was duping YSL's Libra, I want to say. This one... I don't love this one. I feel like the brown sugar is just too sugary sweet for me so i think i'm going to go ahead and declutter this one 
Okay, then we have Floriental Almond, one of my favorites. Like I said earlier, anything with almond notes, I'm gonna love. It's one of my favorite notes. Oh, I really like this one. This one is Carolina Hera's Good Girl. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have Woody Sandalwood. This one dupes Lilabo Fragrance Santal 33. I really like this one. This one is interesting and unique. It has violet, it has cardamom, ambrose, it has amber, sandalwood. It's got musk in there. Really interesting and unique. This one feels more like a like fall winter scent to me, but I really like that one. Okay, then we have Floor Rhubarb. This one is Marc Jacobs Perfect. I love this one. This is one of my favorite dossiers. Oh, it smells so good. Um, it's got rhubarb in it. It's got narcissus in it. It's got musk in it. Cedar wood. It's got peach. I really, really like this one. Oh, yeah, definitely one of my top favorite dossiers. Okay, and then we have floral grapefruit. This one dupes Chanel's Chance O Tendra. Um, it's got grapefruit in it, it's got pear, it's got amber wood, it's got musk in it. I really like this one as well. Um, yeah, I enjoy this one. Okay, then we have Ambery Cherry. This one dupes Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I thought I would like this a lot more than I actually do. I don't dislike it, but it's not my favorite. I tend to layer this one. It's got cherry, it's got almond, cinnamon, it's got vanilla in it. I do like it, but I don't know. The, the cherry just feels, it feels very synthetic to me. I don't love it, but I do get some use out of it. Okay, then we have Aromatic Pineapple. This is YSL's Y. Um, it's got bergamot, it's got pineapple, it's got cedar wood in it. I like this one. Um, it's not my favorite. It's not one that I reach for the most, but I do like it. Okay, Woody Chestnut, my absolute favorite. Um, one of my very top favorite perfumes in general. This one dupes Mason Margulia's Replica by the Fireplace. Replica by the Fireplace is one of my absolute top favorite perfumes. You'll see it when I show you my rollerballs. Um, Replica by the Fireplace is extremely expensive and they're only eau de toilettes, which means they don't last well on the skin. And because they're so expensive, I just could not justify buying a full size bottle. And then when I saw this from Dossier, I just I absolutely love this one. This one has pink pepper, it's got um, guaiac wood, it's got cedar wood, balsam, vanilla. It smells like a campfire. Ugh. I just absolutely, absolutely love this. This is one of the very first perfumes that I would ever repurchase. Okay, then we have powdery tobacco. This is another Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. It's got tobacco, it's got ginger, it's got vanilla, it's got blonde woods in it. I like this one. I thought I would like it a lot more than I do. I don't dislike it by any means. Um, I do tend to really like these like strong, woody, masculine type scents. So I thought I would like this one a lot more. And like I said, I do like it, but it's just not my top favorite. This is one that I tend to layer with kind of like a softer note on top. Okay, then we have Aquatic Peony. This one dupes Armani's Oh, Aqua di Gioi, Gioa. This one has mint, it's got black currant, it's got labdanum, it's got cedar wood. I really like this one. This one um, is fresh. It's got a really pretty scent. I like this one. Okay, then the last dossier is Woody Sage. This one dupes Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Um, it has fig tree, it's got grapefruit, it's got amber wood, it's got clary sage. I like this one, it's not my favorite, but I like it. All right, really quick, I'm gonna show you all of my kind of like sp um, spray bottles. First one I have is Alien Goddess. I got this one, it was recommended um, by the ladies at Sephora. I was looking for, on the hunt for like a good vanilla. I do like this one. Um, it smells less synthetic than the vanilla fields. I like to layer this one. Yeah, I really like this one in the fall. It's good for layering. Okay, then I have a bunch of Juliet has a gun. Um, I got five that came in a little sample and then I have this big um, big one that I got. The problem with the Juliet's have a gun, they all smell really nice, but they just do not last on my skin at all. Um, first one we have is, mm, I do really like this one. It does smell very, mm, it's good. Um, 
I like to layer this one because it doesn't last on the skin, like I said. Um, so I will keep this one. However, I think I'm going to be getting rid of a few of these smaller ones. Um, first one I have is Lady Vengeance. I don't feel like I used this much. I think a lot of it just dis dissipated because um, I have had these for a while. Yeah, I'm going to declutter this one. I like the scents on these, but like I said, they just don't last on the skin. Um, this one is Vanilla Vibes. I like this one um, because it's vanilla. I'm going to keep it because I have been on the hunt for good vanilla and I like to layer my vanillas. Okay, then we have, this one is not a perfume. This one smells like nothing, doesn't last on the skin. I'm going to get rid of that one. Then we have not a perfume super dose. This one is basically, from what I understand, a stronger version of the not a perfume. Again, doesn't smell like anything on my skin, doesn't last on the skin. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then we have Moscow Mule. I really like this one. I want to say it's got maybe like mint notes in it. This one is unique. I like this one. Um, to get longevity out of these Juliet ones, I tend to layer them. So I'm going to keep that one because I do really like that one. Okay, then we have Replica by The Fireplace, my absolute favorite. I bought this before I was um, discovered the Dossier brand. I bought it in the small size just to kind of satisfy my itch for desperately wanting this perfume. Um, and I just love, 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 love this. I wouldn't repurchase this because I have the Dossier full size version and honestly to me, they smell exactly the same. So I would not repurchase this, but it is my absolute favorite. I love it. Okay, and then by Replica, we have Autumn Vibes. I bought this one, I wanna, did I buy it last year or the year before? I forget, but I really like this one. I love it in the autumn. Oh, it smells so good. I really, really like this one. I should look in to see if Dossier has a dupe version of this. Okay, then we have Skylar Vanilla Sky when I was on my, Doss, when I was on my vanilla kick trying to find a good vanilla. This one, oh, it smells so synthetic. Right now, honestly, all I'm smelling, I think because it's clean beauty, so they're not, like they're clean. Um, I don't think this one has good, I don't know. Right now, all I'm smelling is straight alcohol. Like I don't smell vanilla at all. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, then we have a bunch of my little atomizers that I fill from full-size bottles. This one, honestly, I don't know what this is. I think this is just a mix of a bunch of little samples that I had, and I just mixed them together. Um, smells good. I use this for travel. Okay, then we have, this is Rub La Fleur by Rihanna. Absolutely love, love Rub La Fleur. The packaging, however, is horrible. It's got a very heavy base, and then it's long, skinny, and tapered at the top. It's so hard to hold and handle. Um, that I ended up just putting it in this little atomizer. Um, you just take the top off and then you stick the top on the atomizers and then it fills them up. I love this one. Um, the packaging is just a nightmare to deal with. Okay, then we have Alien. I just keep this as a travel perfume from my full size. And then we have Heat. This is one that my older son picked for me. The bottle is similar to the Reb La Fleur by Rihanna where it's very base heavy and then more tapered. I really like this one. Um, I would not have picked this for myself, but I'm very glad my son picked it for me. Just the packaging is horrible, so I use it in here. Okay, and then the very last ones that I'm gonna share with you are some sample um, scents that my friend Laura gave me. She gave, sent me a bunch of commodity scent, scent space personal, Scott book nectar velvet moss paper and milk um, i don't feel inclined to purchase full sizes of any of these however i do continue to use them i like to layer those ones okay and then ones that i absolutely love she sent me two boxes of um, pen halligan scent library i took the inserts out of both of them and then i combined them all into one box pen halligan is a very decadent brand um, they tend to be more masculine a lot of them are actually men cologne men's colognes um, but i really like them um, 
a bunch of the little minis, like I said, the full size perfumes are, or colognes, are extremely expensive, um, but the packaging is just divine. Kind of similar to how the So Scandal has like the legs on it. They tend to have like animal heads on them. Um, they're like silver animal heads. They're just so fun and interesting. The one that I'm most likely to buy full size at some point is Legacy of Petra. I really, really, really like this one. Um, I do every so often look it up on eBay so that I can buy it. Um, I've almost bought it a couple times, but I'm holding off. And my other favorite one at the moment is Lord George. And I just really like this one too. Um, they're just, they're so fun. They're so expensive though. So I'm extremely grateful that my friend Laura sent me these so that I've been able to experience and just get a feel for their perfumes. All right, you guys, that was everything. Um, I'm decluttering quite a bit, which I didn't know I was gonna be doing. I'm decluttering five full size ones and then four minis, like the sprays. And then I also have two that I've already decluttered that I'm sending to my friend Barb, the dossier one that I told you about. And then I have another one by Coach that smells really good, but it just doesn't last on my skin. I think I might have decluttered that in my last perfume video that I showed you. Um, I just never had anyone to give it to, but I'm gonna be giving it to Barb. But all right, you guys, that was everything. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.